this video, we will be looking at managing devices that have registered to Microsoft Teams using the Device Manager in the Teams Administrator. First, from the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, you'll need to open the Teams Admin Center. Next, you will need to select Devices and then IP Phones. The All Phones tab will show all of the phones that have been registered with your service. The first and second columns show the name of the user that has logged on to the phone. Clicking on this will bring up some information about the phone and any available updates. In this case, you will see that the phone firmware and the Teams app both have updates available for them. The Details tab contains additional information about the phone, including the make and model, its current IP address, any asset tags that may have been assigned to it, the MAC address, and the serial number. The Activity tab shows calls that the phone has made and received. Clicking on a call entry will bring up additional information about the call, including highly detailed audio, network, and hardware information that may be useful in troubleshooting. The History tab shows configuration and firmware updates that have been applied to the phone. Back on the Main Device List screen, the third column is for the device name. This is customizable by selecting the phone and clicking the Edit button. Here you can change the device name and also add an asset tag. The next column is for health status. It is here where you can see if there are any firmware or software updates available. Clicking on the notification will open a sidebar that shows what the update is and provides a link where you can install the, uh, any available updates. Next two columns are for the manufacturer and model of the device. The action column will display any activity that is either available or is currently being performed on the device. In this case, we have the option to install two software updates. Clicking on the update link opens a sidebar where we can specify the auto update frequency. The default is to wait for 30 days. You also have options to install as soon as they are available or to wait for 90 days. You can also manually install an update at your own specified scheduled time. IP address column shows the phone's current IP address. The tag column will show any tags that have been assigned to the device. This is an optional, optional way to manage and sort large numbers of devices. The configuration profile shows what, if any, configuration profile has been assigned to the device. Clicking on it will take you directly to the profile where you can view or change its settings. The Offline Sense column would show if the phone has been offline and how long it has been since it last reported to the service. Finally, the History column is the same as the History tab in the user information that we looked at on a previous video. It shows any configuration or firmware updates that have been applied to the device. The buttons along the top here have uh, additional functions. The Assign Configuration button is where you assign configuration profiles to the device. The sidebar shows the selected device and allows you to search for the configuration profile that you would like to assign to it. The Manage Tags button allows you to add custom tags to the device. The Updates button takes you to the sidebar where you can uh, update the firmware. The Restart button will restart the, the device. And lastly, the Remove button will remove the device from your service and log the user out of it.
Thank you.